Now we want to pray for the second thing. Remember, I prophesied in 2017, before the death of Mugabe, I think it's there on the YouTube page, on our YouTube page, that Zimbabweans shall redig the remains of Mugabe, wanting them to be reburied at the Hero's Acre. So I saw Zimbabweans going to redig the remains of Mugabe. I think many people are sending me that prophecy who know it. Uh, and we want to pray concerning that thing because God spoke it well before the late president Robert Gabriel Mugabe's death. The time, remember, when I was prophesying about how he was going to be in a sort of a house arrest and something that was going to shake his presidency was going to happen. And I gave the date 15 November 2017. Before that and after that, there were some uh, two or so Friday services. I prophesied those who were there about the redigging of his remains. And God was saying Zimbabweans must also pray because that incident must not happen. Because it is also an escalation of idolatry. Because there are some people who are being entered by demons and are wrongly instructing some of our leaders in the nation that if you redig and get the body of Mugabe, you will get the scepter of kingship that he was carrying. But all those things, they will bring serious consequences to our nation if the body of Christ does not pray. So I spoke it because God wants us to pray so that the hearts of men may be entered, so that they don't go to such an extent of going to redig a grave of a man who is gone long back. And they think that his bones can improve the economy of Zimbabwe. Yet during his time, he could not improve the economy. So when do, why do you think that his bones today, when you get them, they will give you prosperity? and they will make you to do better. So it's a lie of the devil. And we need to pray for people that are there who are in these things so that they don't put Zimbabwe into serious poverty than what we are already experiencing. Because when God is judging a nation, he even judges it with the people inside. And it affects the rest of the populace of the nation. I have seen it in the world when God was striking Egypt, judging their caved images and their gods, the Egyptians suffered. The Egyptians suffered when God was sending frogs. They were affecting the Egyptians. When God was sending locusts, they were affecting the Egyptians, but some of them were innocent. So we just want to pray as a, as a people. Because as Eagle Life, we are a center for prophetic intercession for the nation of Zimbabwe. So please, people of God, these things that I speak, if you follow them, even if you want to disregard them, at a certain time you see them coming to pass if the church doesn't pray. Because these things are revealed, it was revealed to me before the death of Mungad, not during the death, and we uploaded that prophecy. So please, we had to remove it. Also some of the contents there, we had to remove them on YouTube because of complaints that had come from the family or some person from the family of the late president about that prophecy. That's why we cut some, but some remember it uh, very well. That's why we just left the title there. If you Google, Zimbabweans shall redig Mugabe's remains and his grave. You will see it is there, the title. We removed the content only for the sake of that family. Because they, some of them were... Uh, touched by that prophecy and it was a little bit sensitive so that's why we did that for relations sake so please let's go before God just one minute and pray for these things let's just pray Father we are praying even as a church we are asking you oh Lord oh my God that all these things oh my God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ Marianda Kamusoko Mundara Katia Alinda Kamusazi, 
Forgive us, my God. Forgive the nation. Forgive the nation. Forgive the nation. Forgive our leaders, for they don't know what they are doing. Forgive them, O oh Lord, for they don't know what they are doing. Forgive them, O oh God. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus. 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 We thank you, O Lord, in Jesus' mighty name. Now my last message to Zimbabwe and even to the leaders of Zimbabwe is that that statue must be removed as soon as possible. That was a grave sin that was done in the midst of Zimbabwe. And heaven looked down. I saw angels looking down. And God was not happy. Listen to the voice of God, you leaders of the nation, including the servants of God, who also authenticated that because you want financial gains. You want dishonest gains. God is saying, I will also judge you. And all those that were kneeling, especially worshiping there, you will see if they don't repent and reverse this thing, what will happen to those people and some who were there on that gathering. So I'm just sent by God to just speak. You can take it or leave it, but don't say that God didn't give you a warning. When you start to have diseases that no one can cure in your bodies, I end what God says here. That says the Lord, God bless you so much. I love you. And I am praying for you. I'm speaking out of love as a prophet who has been sent by God. We may take our seats. God bless you. Thank you, Zimbabwe.